Gracie, 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 can you talk for your food? Gracie, 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 I hear Trixie, what about you Gracie, Gracie, you want your food, huh, what do you think, it's breakfast, you want it, hmm, <laughs> Not till I look at that tail. Look at your tail. Hmm. Okay, here you go. <laughs> okay. Tracy, get off the live saw. Here, you want your food? Come on. Come on. You want your food? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come here. Come here, old girl. There you go. There's your food, too. Okay. Well, y'all have your breakfast. Papa's got to go out and feed the other kitties, okay? I'll be back in a minute. Check on before I go out work in the property okay speedy where's spooky huh where is he where's your brother speedy spooky 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 kitty 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 cleo cleo spooky come on Well, I know it's early. Well, there comes old Spooky. Were you over there uh, hunting birds? Is that what you was doing? Huh? Okay, here you go, guys. There you go. There's your breakfast. You're looking good this morning there, Spook. Yep, you was hunting birds, weren't you? And that's my little Speedy. We got to treat your eye again today, baby. Okay? I know that's going to be a chore. Yep. Maybe you'll let me put your collar on you. Huh? Maybe not. <laughs> well, Cleo's out and around. She tends to stay down, except when I'm out, down at a neighbor's house. Of course, she also goes around and mooches off several other neighbors <laughs> she is a true community cat and i think poor more old little magoo has decided he wants to stay up there with the kids i do see him about once a week maybe twice and elrod still makes a a visit on occasion but we're up early we're out because we got to do some trimming do some work on the old blueberries and other parts of the yard. So I thought I'd bring y'all along with me. You haven't seen the kitty crew in a while. Got to see four of them before I whipped out the camera. Old Gracie, she was just a crying for her morning breakfast. She don't have a very loud meow. It's just real faint. Very ladylike. Just a little meow. Meow. And of course you heard Trixie. So, before we get things going today, while it's still cool, and that's going to be something we're going to talk about, uh, let's take a walk about and see where we are. And hopefully, the creek don't rise where we're heading to. Okay? Hey, Speedy. You got your food. You're ready to go. Where'd Spook go? Huh? Where'd little Spooky go? Oh, it's a beautiful day. Spook's around here somewhere. Is that you coming up, Spooky? Is that you, Spook, or is that Cleo? Cleo! Nope, that's Spooky. 
Where's Cleo at? Huh? Maybe they're keeping her in the house now. Could be. Been a day or two since I saw her. Well, she'll probably come around as I'm out working today. That's what she normally does. Well, hello there, friends and family. And as you can see, we're up early. And it's May 26th, and things really have changed here in the Deep South. Last week, we were in the mid to high 70s to the very low 80s. This past Sunday, that all changed. And it's here to stay. And what is that all about? Well, that's the heat. Because our uh, highs since Sunday have been in the low 90s. And they're getting up into the mid 90s. And we haven't seen rain now in uh, going on nearly two weeks. Of course, we did get a lot just prior to that. But we don't even have rain in the forecast, except for the possibility of some isolated showers this weekend. But that don't even look good, because we've got a, what they're calling. Weatherman is a heat dome over the southeast, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, Carolinas. And when actually it's high pressure dome or ridge. And that keeps the weather from the west, the fronts, from traveling on across the southeast. So such is the weather, spring's over, and summer's full on right now. But, since we are up, and now we're going to have to get back in the habit of getting up early, getting out, getting what we can done before the heat of the day. Let's take a look at a few things before we get all started. Spooky, you're right there with Papa, aren't you? And there's Speedy laying down there. In the blueberries. <laughs> and that's the first thing we're going to talk about. Blueberries. Which if you look at them right off the bat. Some are just starting to turn. See right here? Yep. Just starting to ripen. If we don't get rain here in the next day or so. I'll know better once I dig down underneath that leaf mulch a little bit today. We're going to have to start watering them. We do got lots of new growth, but the blueberries have had a rough year this year. Now, sure, looks like they got plenty of berries on them, don't they? Man, but if you watch that there first garden or walkabout I did, they did appear to have a lot more, and they truly did, than what they have now. And you might wonder, well, what happened? Well, we'll let this car pass by, and then we'll chat about it some. People love their loud cars, don't they? But there are a lot of berries on it, and I can't complain. But there were many, many, many more. Oh, a couple weeks back. And what happened was we had hail. Yep. A little over two and a half weeks ago, we had a real bad hailstorm. It was dime-sized hail. And it came in. And uh, it must have hailed for five to ten minutes. And I could see it knocking the berries off. And you'd have to look close. But uh, if you do look close, you'll see ones missing in the clusters. And something I'm seeing this year that I haven't seen in a long, long time is we've got some type of insect damage. Not sure just what that is. I haven't seen that in years past. But we're still going to have a pretty good harvest, it would appear. But i got to get out with my hand pruners get in these beds, cut out this here American Greenbrier that plagues us here in the south, get it cut back out, get some other weeds cut on out, get them thrown in the wheelbarrow and pile them up out by the street so the city can pick them up. So that's on the agenda today.
You can probably hear the birds on occasion. And thank good Lord, my Latanya bush came back out. If you all remember on that last walkabout, I thought freezing temperatures when we got so low there for so long, which did kill it all the way back to the ground, had done it in for good. But as you can see, that's just not quite the case. But today too, I gotta get in here and get some more of that green briar, which I have about every species known to man, cut out of them. And we got some more up here, because Latanya, it will spread. Up on the bank here, we got some real pretty purple flowers. I'm not quite sure what they are. I want to say they're Mexican heather, if I remember correctly, of course. We do got some uh, dewberries in there, but they haven't done much this year. We had a pile of bears last year. Sometimes that'll happen. But here again, I gotta get in here with the weed whacker and whack all this on down. Yep. Keep everything nice and tidy. And I gotta get around this here uh, oak tree. which has some poison ivy. There's those three leaves mixed in with some five leaf. Nope, that's not poison oak. That's Virginia creeper. So I have to don my gloves when I'm working around this thing. And I might want to put on long sleeve shirt. The fig bush took some damage, lost some leaves too during that hail event. We actually had another smaller one uh, about a week and a half ago. It was just sort of like ball bearing size. But if you look up under here, you'll see we got some figs coming on. There's another one right there. There was two right up in here, see? There's more. Here's two more right over here. They're just starting to form. Got another one right up here, see it? Another one right there. So, we're gonna lay down a little bit of fertilizer next grass clipping we do we're going to start laying in the mulch on the old fig tree because warm weather is upon us and we're going to come around here do some weed whacking around shrubs some trimming get all around our trees and house spiffy back on up a little bit more But as you saw the last time, we had this whole area cut all the way back down to the ground. That was me, my son, and Destiny. And in the course of just uh, four weeks, this is what it looks like. Now I'm wanting to keep the bamboo, if indeed that's at all possible. But I'm thinking not. Because i got to get in here now. When we cut down the trees, look, this is an oak tree that's re-sprouted from the stump. There's a popcorn tree up in there. And some more oaks coming back. And of course down here, we got that Japanese honeysuckle. Over here now, that can get some sunshine. What's that, Spooky? Oh yeah, you're so right. It's pokeweed. Poke salad. Yep. 
Yep. Which you can't eat. Of course, it is poisonous. And the way they do that, you know, back in the old days in the south, they would uh, boil it in water once, throw that water away, boil it again, throw that water again, away, and boil it a third time. If I was hungry enough, I guess I'd go through all that. But so far, I haven't. Here you can see pecan tree that's re-sprouted from where we cut it off right down here. It won't take me long to clean this back on up. Now once I do take this bamboo back down again, it shouldn't re-sprout till next spring. We'll see how it goes. Cause I want to continue to clear this on off up to the road. What, spook? What you doing? Well, go hunting. Good luck, buddy. I know what you want. You want them birdies. You can hear them, can't you? Okay, well, you just sit there like a panther. They're not going to come down where you can get them, though, bro. And that. And it's just like I said. Things roll back fast. Here's a here's a American green briar vine that's re-sprouted. There's some more in there. Here's uh, the possum grapes. They've re-sprouted. Yep, plenty to do. As you can see right along here, I've been starting to lay the grass clippings in on top of the cob boat. And that, that'll, I pick up the tape, which now comes off. You see it right here? Makes it real easy now to get it and throw it in the garbage. Sure would be nice if you'd help me, Spooky. See? Find the tape and take it off, okay? We'll weed whack this on down. Then we gotta get up in there and do some more weed whacking. Spook, you did get a bird. Look it right there. Yeah. Look at those black feathers. Looks like you and Speedy got you a grackle, didn't you? Some type of blackbird. Or was it a crow? Was it tasty? <laughs> uh, that's what kitties do. And then next week, since the hairy vetch has died off and went to seed, which is what we wanted, and the seeds have popped, seed pods which means they've deposited their seed we got to get in here and uh, pull it up clean up this bed some amend it uh, onions are finishing up they probably went just about as far as they're gonna go some of them seeded and already starting to drop their seeds. We'll just let the green onions go because the plants all the time let them reseed and then clear these out. Now this uh, Greek oregano, it's just unstoppable. And down in here we got this big mat of thyme. Of course, you got more Japanese honeysuckle trying to invade oh this will be a morning project now over here we we're going to burn down the burn pile we haven't done that yet 
and I'll show you why. Uh, see right there? You see that? That's a dewberry. There's another one right here. Right around this uh, to soon be a burn pile is where I've got the bulk of my dewberries now. And don't worry. The dewberries will come back somewhere. Probably along the back fence line. But like I said, we got way more last year than what we have been getting this year. They're still tasty though. I'm thinking if we get a little shower about a day after we're going to have us a fire. <laughs> Got to get my bamboo cut up. That's on the schedule today. And we also got to get over here around the oak, throw some junk away. We're going to trim that all back down. We're going to go ahead and get that juniper creeper that's starting to creep up with it. And people always confuse themselves that this is poison oak. Trust me, it's not. It's a Virginia creeper, which... Uh, was an ornamental vine and covering and plant it it has berries here in the south the birds eat the berries sit up in the trees drop the berries and uh, there you have it and not sure which day one day here real soon I'm gonna start clearing that shop off and then one of my other projects is this is my elderberry and as you can see it's simply massive but it's taking over everything so once it gets done blooming I'm going to upset the birds. I'm going to cut it back. The only reason I haven't done that so far is because it's beautiful. But it's just taking up way too much real estate. And I haven't planned my truck tire beds or this bed either. Which I also got a weed eat today. <laughs> and I haven't planted my tire beds and in many ways this year I'm glad I didn't because when it did hail had I had tender young plants planted they would have been wiped out and I was looking back at my videos in 2018 when I retired because I retired in May and I really didn't start planting anything till June and I must admit that year even though it wasn't all that much I put in you know a little small plot gardening like I do every year uh, around the house and other certain little beds I really had a really good year <laughs> For gardening, I got a lot of food off of the small spaces. And I was late in 2019, and things did just as well. Now in 2020, I was more on time, and things didn't do as good. And even though I hate to fight the heat, we're going to be late this year. But they still got plants for sale. 
you want to be starting from seed this year we'll be starting from plant starts just like we did in 2018 2019 But yard looking nice overall. I think I'll give it another cut Saturday. Well, I just wanted to come out today before I got rolling good and share with you where we are. And over here on the driveway bed. As you can see, it's all looking a mess. But it sort of kind of has to. And this is what I was telling you in that last walkabout. You got to let the tops of the narcissus and daffodils die down. And when they do, you can just give them a little tug. And they come right up off the bulbs, just like that. See that? Now, what's that do for you? Well, by allowing them to stay green after they flower, they keep feeding the bulb. That's where all their energy goes. Back into those bulbs. And if you ever wonder why your narcissus, daffodils, tulips, whatever have you, bulbing flowers, don't get bigger and don't multiply maybe it's because when they're done blooming you're too quick chop all the green down and get something else in there this is something I have not always known but I've learned over time even though it looks nasty right now it won't take but oh by an hour to clean this all up and be ready to Top it off with some amendments, work it into the top of the soil, and get ready to plant some beds in it. It's what we do every year. And like I say, if you go back and watch past garden videos, this little uh, 20 foot by about 18 inch wide bed has produced a goodly amount of food. has produced a goodly amount of food over the years. So that's the situation. You know, it's a shame the temperatures now are so quick to be up in the 90s. I missed out on a couple of the best weeks of spring because I was laid up feeling really terrible. But that is how life goes. And ain't no sense crying over it. Just get on with it. So y'all. Got a nice little breeze right now. It's 72. 8 in the morning. And by 1 o'clock. Supposed to be 90. So I got to get going. I do hope all of y'all are having a wonderful week. As you are able, I hope you're out working in the yard, working in your gardens. Whether it's nothing more than small plots, pots, grow bags, or even if you poke, low income, use your Amazon shipping boxes. I've done it many a time. Just fill them up with soil and uh, go ahead and plant them. They'll last a season. And then you can just compost them at the end. So until, oh, uh, Trixie, Gracie, Spooky, Speedy, now sometimes Cleo, Magoo, and Elrod, see you on the next video. Y'all take care. Stay safe. And God bless each and every one of you. Bye for now. I could just sit out here. 
get a cup of tea and enjoy this morning a little bit longer but I better not do it time's wasting and we burning daylight let's get the gloves the pruners the wheelbarrow let's make it happen later all